I'd like to welcome you back to our claims case study series on the lockout tagout claim. The claim that we're discussing in this particular series is related to uh, improper usage of lockout tagout procedures. Uh, with this particular claim, the injured employee was um, maintaining a piece of equipment that uh, obviously had moving internal parts. Uh, the employee had shut the machine down to perform some maintenance, didn't let the internal moving parts of the machine spool down, also didn't lock the machine out properly, uh, placed his hand in there to begin work as the machine cycling down, uh, a piece comes down and um, results in an amputation of a couple of fingers. So again, with this particular lockout tagout related claim, uh, we had those issues where the employee didn't let the machine spool down, didn't use proper lockout tagout procedures, places his hand in there amongst moving parts and we have an amputation. I uh, hope you'll stay tuned for the next video as Kyle Mask is going to talk to you a little bit about the financial implications of this lockout tagout claim.